is responsible for the upkeep uh, of the house and the provision of the children. So, well, from a standpoint of a pastor, my job is to provide you what you need from a spiritual standpoint so, so that you can grow to full maturity. And then you're to make a choice based on the Word of God, the anointing, the Holy Ghost, in consultation with your pastors. <laughs> Whenever you skip over all that, you're on your own. You're, you're on your own. Change doesn't come by thinking about change. Change comes through human efforts sustained by divine help. So when I decide to change, the Holy Spirit kicks in and he helps me keep the commitment and empowers me to change. But change is always a decision, but it's, it always has within it sweat equity. You may not be able to control what comes to your mind, but you can control what, listen, what lives in there. But you can't control what the enemy may send a thought, but you can control what you continue to think about. Amen. There's always heaven, uh, heaven's operations going on, always the devil's operations going on. And see, we don't have to wait till we die to experience heaven or hell. We can experience either one right here. That just totally blows your mind. But the Bible tells us that we are seated in high places with Christ Jesus. In order to understand that, our minds have to be renewed. You can, you can have all the money in the world and still feel like it's hell. And you can be the poorest person on this planet and you could live like you in heaven. Glory to God. And I'm telling you, Money is not the prerequisite for that. So that's your entry. That's your key to enter into the spirit realm. That you would see things that nobody else sees. That when you, someone asks you a question or you encounter a problem, you don't see the problem, but you see what's happening in the spirit realm concerning that problem. But see, when your mind is renewed, you understand that the battlefield is in the spirit realm. And in order to get there, I've got to have revelation. I've got to get in by revelation.